The world is like a jar full of chocolates of different size, shape, color and taste. We have people of different religions, caste, creed and color, living in different parts of the world. Yet we are connected today and that has only been possible because of wires. Polycab Wires Private Limited, established in the year 1968, has strengthened its roots in the country today, contributing significantly to the initiative of Make in India. With over 1 billion US dollar turnover, Polycab today has 36 units of offices, manufacturing facilities and warehouses located all across the country. With the goal of providing high-speed internet to books and corners of India, Polycab started its state-of-the-art optical fiber cable manufacturing facility in Halol, located in western state of Gujarat, India. Started in 2015 with a total land area of 10 acre and built up area of 3.8 acre. The production line of the OFC unit is well equipped with world class manufacturing machines. An installed capacity of approximately 10,000 km optical fiber cable every month. The unit has great manufacturing capacity, technologically advanced testing lab and several warehouses which cater to the storage requirements of the unit. These facilities make the unit a stand-alone manufacturing unit in the market. As the country is racing towards going digital with high-speed internet, the journey has been easier with the contribution of optical fiber cables. Owing to its high transmission capacity, optical fiber can carry information at higher data rates. It has several advantages like it is lightweight, higher volume of data handling, it is cost efficient and most reliable. Intrusion proof network. The manufacturing process of the optical fiber is divided into four stages, namely coloring process, secondary coating, stranding process and sheathing process. Coloring process The coloring process is used to color the natural fibers. The color identification of the fiber is required to splice fibers with same colors in field. In the process, the natural fiber gets passed through dyes. The UV curable ink is applied over the dyes. Finally, it passes through UV lamps for UV curing. Fibers cured with UV radiation are especially resistant to abrasion and scratching at high production speeds. This machine with high production speed is one of the most sophisticated coloring machine available today. Audio jungle. Secondary coating. Secondary coating or buffering process is a process where one or more optical fibers of different colors get encapsulated. Its purpose is to provide mechanical isolation and protection from physical damage. Here, colored fibers or fiber ribbons get to the extruder unit, via fiber holder. Jelly is applied inside the loose tube, along with fiber, through the jelly pump. An extruder unit extrudes the PBTP compound to create loose tube around the fiber. The jelly inside the tube provides cushion to the fiber and ingresses the water to come inside the loose tube. 
The outer coating of the loose tube helps provide mechanical protection to the fiber. After extrusion, the loose tube runs through hot and cold water respectively. In the final stage of the process, the tube gets dried and passes through a diameter gauge that controls the diameter of the tube. Stranding process Stranding process is used in case of multi-tube designs. Here the loose tubes of optical fiber cable are stranded in concentric layers around a central strength element that is fiber reinforced plastic rod, also known as FRP rod. We have in-house production unit to manufacture these high quality FRP rods at various diameters and specifications. The stranding process starts with FRP rod which passes through jelly tank. Optical fiber loose tubes of various colors from payoffs get stranded around the FRP through a special unit called SZ oscillator. Inside the SZ oscillator, the tubes are guided through a series of rotating discs. The discs rotate a number of turns in one direction and the same number of turns in reverse direction, resulting in SZ pattern of stranding. While undergoing laying in the field, if the cable gets pulled really hard, the fibers move and adjust using the extra length. In case of a requirement of glass yarn or aramid yarn, the SZ core passes through server yarn. The strand then passes through flooding jelly and after that polyester tape is wrapped over the SZ core. Another binder is used to hold the tape at a particular lay length. Finally, the SZ core gets wind on the spool. And now, it's ready to go to the next process. Sheathing Line The sheathing process is where the loose tube fiber optic cable or the SZ core gets their final touch in production. Mechanical properties for different cable types are set with armoring and sheath. There are mainly two types of armoring metallic armoring and non-metallic armoring. In the case of non-metallic armoring, the SZ core passes through server yarn, through which the glass yarn or aramid yarn gets applied to the cable. If the cable requires metallic armoring, the ECCS or SS tape applicator provides metal armoring to the cable, which is corrugated for additional strength. The cable passes through extruder unit where compounds such as high density polyethylene, low smoke zero halogen, nylon PA12 to name a few, provides outer jacket to the cable. After extrusion, the cable runs through hot and cold water and dries off. Spark tester, in case of armored cable, checks for any foreign particles. The technical information of the cable are either embossed or printed over the cable. The cable is then bound up on wooden spool. This is the final stage of the manufacturing and the cable is now ready to use. But before it leaves our premises, it has to pass through a series of rigorous tests in our state-of-the-art testing lab. Testing Equipment Optical Time Domain Reflectometer or OTDR Optical Time Domain Reflectometer or OTDR is an optoelectronic instrument used to measure the attenuation loss at different wavelength and total length of fiber. Laser light is emitted through LED source inbuilt in OTDR optical fiber. 
It is useful for testing the integrity of fiber optic cables. It can verify splice loss, measure length and find faults. Ribbon Fiber Geometry Measurement System The Ribbon Fiber Geometry Measurement System measures various geometric parameters of ribbon fiber matrix such as ribbon width, ribbon height, extreme fiber distance and planarity. Spectrum Analyzer The Spectrum Analyzer has the following measurement capabilities. Spectral attenuation at different wavelengths Mode field diameter of the fiber Fiber Geometry Analyzer The Fiber Geometry Analyzer is used to measure the properties like cladding diameter, cladding non-circularity, core cladding concentricity error, diameter over the coating, coating or cladding concentricity, fiber curve, Constant monitoring and advancement of the process helps Polycap assure high standard products to its customers. Safety is one of the most important components in any industry and we keep our workforce's safety in top priority. The manufacturing unit is well equipped to provide a safe working environment to its employees and workers. The workers are provided safety equipment like safety shoes, safety dress, safety gloves, safety helmet according to international safety standard. They are also made aware about the safety norms through training as well as signboards and visual creatives. Our highly skilled, dedicated and hard-working workforce is the real asset for the company, which is constantly thriving to reach new heights of excellence in terms of quality, deliverance and customer service. Polycap is honored to have a workforce which functions and works like a family. Our management staff make sure that the workplace feels like home. The work culture of the company is rooted towards giving guidance and support to the employees and workers to enhance the skill set and increase in productivity. Audio jungle. With the noble thought of improving basic infrastructures to villages in Gujarat, Polycab as of today has made toilet blocks, street lights, roads and other infrastructural developments in the surrounding rural area. In the medical sector, Polycab is successfully running MMU, a medical health vehicle, which began on 7 December 2017 and covers 21 villages in the Halol Taluka. Special health talks and medical camps conducted helps in bringing awareness about major issues among the villagers. Under our skill development program, experts-led technical skills are provided to the locals in the remote areas, making them being self-dependent and living a respectable life in the society. Polycab is fortunate to have a dynamic chairman like Mr. Inder Jai Singhani, whose foresight has helped the company tread on a smooth path till now and set higher goals for the future. Gone on slowly, slowly adding in the products, electrical cables, then FS cables. After long many years, today we are manufacturing all types of cables which nobody is making in Asia. Within four years of its inception, the Harlow unit of Polycab has achieved some overwhelming milestones. This has enabled us to strengthen its position in the market as the leading wires and cables manufacturers. Polycab is proud to be one of the world leaders with 27% market share in the organized sector. The Varodra chapter has had a glorious impact on the company. Some of the most significant milestones are started operations in record time of 12 months from commencement of the project. Awarded as the cleanest plant in company group. Reached the third stage of 5S within six months of operations. 
awarded as the safest plant in the company group. Have been winning gold trophy in 5S and Kaizan for two straight years in Vadodara, India chapter. Polycap Wires Private Limited is a closely knit family which wishes to connect the country together while spreading smiles all across. We sternly believe that things which are done with compassion and true intention never go in vain. Polycab, Connections in the Giga.